here's one of my cordy lines i got four of these bigger ones are down there those ones uh, are really happy they were purchased around the same time the ones up here they get kind of beat by the wind but uh i'm kind of surprised because these were encrusted in about an inch of ice and they seem to handle it really well if you look kind of in the center everything is undamaged and i'm shocked i mean some of the fronds took a little bit or the yeah, I guess fronds or leaves or whatever you want to call them. Took a bit of damage, but uh, overall, uh, some of the older ones are looking a little bit more tired, but they're doing pretty good. And up here, this one's the worst because this one gets hit with the most wind. This one isn't looking quite as good, but it actually looks like it's totally fine. It should recover. Um, <clears throat> I'd say they don't really love the wind that much and even though they plant them a lot by the ocean but uh, zone 9 plant uh, I don't remember actually I don't even think that this even had a had a label um, I think this might be cherry sensation these kind of red ones this variegated red one which I really like it's like a uh, like the yellow one called Torbay Dazzler except red and uh, you can generally just buy these at the big box store they're usually called spikes or dracaena or dracaena indivisa which is all incorrect these are cordyline australis so long-term zone 9a these red ones um, from my understanding they don't get very big they don't get uh, into huge trees like the green ones you know these ones only get i think around six feet this one's a little bit nicer to look at we'll look at this one but you can see the ones down below are, are bigger but getting a little bit of a trunk and what, what you do is when the fronds or the leaves just get old like that boom just pull them off they come right off so i just uh these were just you know might have had half a dozen little strap leaves on them and they grow pretty quick so if you're zone 9a you can leave them out um generally speaking our winters we are zone 8b but don't go down to the lower limits of 8b very often most winters uh 25 is about as low as we'll get and they they can tolerate frost um, this winter during the ice storm the lowest i saw on my instrumentation was 24 uh, the one night and they did go through a day below freezing i know in new zealand these things will grow everywhere i've been there personally i, I just don't really remember seeing any quarry lines but uh, they'll grow in swampy areas um, pretty easy plan as long as you don't get too cold if you're in a cooler if you're below uh, zone 9a what will happen is these will if you get a really cold winter it'll nuke them but they're root hardy so they will come back a lot of times they'll come back multi-headed um, my neighbor has some really big green ones. They must be about six feet tall and, and easily that around. Um, and then there's some tall single stem ones. Here's that uh, wind coming back. It's the Pineapple Express coming in. But anyway, Cordyline Australis, they come in a variety of different colors. Uh, there's a bronze one which has much thicker, shorter leaves i've had that one before i don't really like the way it looks and i actually found that one to be less cold hardy than this one it took a lot more damage during winter and i just didn't like it so i i ended up throwing them out but uh those ones down there are really nice especially that one so what i did when we had the uh the ice and stuff these two down here i i, I didn't want to lose them because they're actually getting quite big so i threw them up under my eve and that totally protected them but uh yeah try cordy line don't believe it when they're called spike or dracaena in device because dracaena or cordy line in device uh they're not dracaenas and they're not cordy line in device cordy line in device has much much thicker strappy leaves they're green and uh very hard to source very hard to find those anyway thanks for watching